Hey, what's up, y'all? Daquan here. And before I show you guys these really cool chords in F sharp, I really want to talk to you guys about something that's very important and that's been on my heart for a while. And it's really to my early level musicians and maybe advanced level or sounding musicians as well. And it's the fact that you may feel discouraged because you can't retain, you know, the information that you hear and have learned uh, throughout the years. Trust me, I've been there. I understand where you're coming from. And, you know, I felt discouraged as well. You know, I was always thinking about how can I learn this and then play it as soon as possible. Right. And that's not what that's about. You know, a lot of you guys want to learn chords and things like that to play in a song things like that, which is fine, but you're going to be stuck at that point and you're not going to see the big picture and what learning things can do for your overall sound and vocabulary. Over time, I realized that these ideas was meant for me to build my vocabulary, build the way I hear, build the way I think about music. All of that stuff wasn't meant to be retained. And a lot of you guys are stuck because you think you have to retain every single bit of information that you hear. All that stuff you learn, you're not going to remember. And that's OK. Some of this stuff is just about building yourself as a player. Right. And thank God that I had the community of my father, my brothers, my sisters. They all are musicians. Right. My uncles, aunts, literally there keeping me going forward. My church being around professional musicians, literally giving me the fuel to keep going. You know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. That's why it's so important for you to surround yourself around like-minded individuals in your local town. And if you can't do that, you can join DB Music Academy where I offer community, being with you every step of the way, coaching. You need that. It's so important to your success. Everything that you learn, you will not keep. All right. But that does not mean you are not learning. OK. All right. Let's get into the video. All right. So we're going to be in the key of F sharp. OK. I'm just going to show you guys some ideas that I've been working on. And I'm going to break them down to the best of my ability. And hopefully you can grab some of this stuff, even if it's a small snippet and apply it to the things that you're already playing. All right. Yeah. So if you guys have been checking out my other videos, uh, you know, over time, I combined a lot of previous videos, ideas <laughs> into one thing. OK, that's the key to growing. When you do get this information, how can you stack the things that really resonate with you? Right. Those things will stay with you. The things that really resonate in your spirit and your soul. And you just feel like you just need those ideas. Those things are going to stay. OK. And then once you get those, how can you build on them? So the first idea that I want to show you is this diminished drop two kind of thing. Right. It's an idea to get to a minor chord. OK. So the first chord is an A flat minor. You have the A flat minor nine. Right. And here's the idea. Got a drop two, rootless kind of thing going on. So even though we're in the key of F sharp, I'm thinking in A flat minor. OK, um, and this is advanced. This is an advanced way of thinking, right? Thinking chord for chord. So what I'm thinking is this idea is a seven, three, six kind of thing. Right. So if I'm thinking of a seven, three, six in A flat, right, that would be B flat, E flat, A flat. So. It's a B flat seven with the flat nine. The E flat seven with the flat nine, right? The A flat minor nine. Okay, so. Okay, but a simpler way of thinking about this is thinking of the one, right? And it's creating a diminished chord, diminished seven, descending, right? So this is a, a D, 
the minute seven, right? And then you bring it down a half step with the at B flat at the, as the melody or A sharp, right? And then the A flat, major nine, minor nine, excuse me, right? Then I have the C sharp or D flat seven flat nine. A lot of flat nine chords, right? Think about the diminished. Take that second highest note, bring it down. Then bring the whole idea down a half step. Right? And this is my rootless six chord. Bring a couple of those notes down. Right? And this is my diminished chord or my flat nine for, for C sharp. And I'm taking that same shape. Okay? I'm trying to explain this in a way that makes sense. I'm, I'm not thinking about it from a theoretical place so much. So, it's, it, you know, bear with me. So I take the same idea of of uh, a fourth down. So, same concept. Thinking of E flat minor, diminished chords, right? And this is setting me up to get to that three, right? See, the thing about advanced chords, man, like advanced players, they're thinking chords and chords and chords ahead, okay? So, and they're trying to figure out the best way to get there, okay? So, <clears throat> all this is just distraction. All of this, and, and I don't mean distraction in a bad way, but just like color, it's just candy is a better word. Like, all of this is just... A lot of this stuff does not make sense from a theoretical point of view or it's difficult to explain. If you can just hear it and understand what's happening, then just pick the places where it works. But this is like what I was saying earlier. I learned how to play this because of all of the throwaway ideas I've learned over the years. It allowed me to even hear this stuff. Okay. So a lot of you are like, Daquan, how do you figure that stuff out? You just got to learn ideas, learn concepts. It'll open your ear up to be able to even hear this stuff. Okay. So, so it's my flat five, seven. Well, that minus seven flat five on the three, six as a dominant. Right, I took an idea from an old video, uh, F sharp chords and rhymes. Eh. All right, and then resolved it. Eh. <laughs> Hopefully, that made sense, right? Um, I tried my best to explain that, but here's the thing. Here's the here's the roadmap. Right. You learn things. OK, you learn them because they sound fire to you. Everything I play, I can't explain. <laughs> right. But if it's fire, you learn it. And then you try to break it down in a language that you understand so you can then move that concept around. OK, so this idea. uh, I heard that idea, not in, in drop two, none of that, just in regular voicings from this gospel concert back in like oh six right and i was like it that sound was just so dope i played it everywhere i knew it was a minor idea so anytime it was a minor i figured out the movement and i dropped it every single time and i was like okay i got the concept now how can i expand it then years later once i started shedding my 10th voicings and drop two voicings. I spent the whole summer with that, right? Got that down. Then now I was able to not think about drop twos and can play them automatically. Now I got to a point where I can do this. Right? Uh, uh, maybe not. Uh, oh my God. There we go. <laughs> Stuff like that. All the, the, it's the same idea. Right? 
got that down. So now I was able to move it around because I'm not thinking about every single piece. I know it's a minor move. Anytime I play a minor move, instead of playing the minor chord, take that concept and play it there. And now that allowed me to get placement and things like that. Okay. All right. So my rant video slash lesson video is over. Remember, everything that you learn, you will not keep. That's so important to remember. And this will help you stop being stuck and it will allow you to move forward in your piano journey. If you want to take this a step further, consider joining DB Music Academy, where I help musicians just like you learn gospel music through community content and coaching. You need someone there to be by your side and help push you further along. Okay, it's not content. If it was about that, you would be nice. You got YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Google, everything, and you still where you are, right? So content alone is not the answer. You need community. You need someone who's been there, done that, got a t-shirt, help you get to where you want to be. And if I'm that guy for you, consider joining DB Music Academy. The link is in the description below. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon. All right, see you in the next video.